This past weekend at D23 Expo, it was announced a very special character will be coming to the new Star Wars theme park, Galaxy's Edge. But just who is this character I'm speaking of? You may recognize him from the Clone Wars animated series as well as from Star Wars Rebels. You'll soon get to meet Hondo Onaka, but just who is this guy and why will he be coming to the parks? Hello Star Wars fans and welcome to Galaxy Highlights where we bring you special videos covering the various characters, species, planets, and other occurrences in the galaxy far far away. In today's video you'll be learning all there is to know about Hondo Onaka, the leader of the Onaka Gang. My friends, my friends! Haha! <laughs> it is I! Hondo! Hondo was a male Weeque who had humble beginnings on his home planet of Sri Lur. Well, I shouldn't say humble, he was sold as a slave at a very young age, but managed to escape into servitude to poor love the hut. You see, Hondo isn't a very religious guy. He was sold into slavery because, according to his people, it was the will of their god Quay. After finding work with Porla, he made the hut trust him enough to make him an advisor in the spice trade, and in a classic Jack Sparrow-esque plot, he took one of Porla's skiffers, some of his crew, and basically started an operation of his own. Although as many pirates know, there's always a price to freedom. Hondo would spend years developing strong relationships and friendships among powerful people like Jango Fett, and even had personal relationship with the infamous sharpshooter Aura Singh, who he dated at some time. He had become the drug lord and leader of the Onaka gang, and his enterprise often found itself profiting off both sides of the Clone Wars, whether it be uh, Separatist or Republic. His gang dealt in many illicit substances, including spice. Uh, and his main base of operations was on the planet Florum. This was before his gang was split up w during the rise of the Empire, of course. Now, before the fall of the Republic, Hondo would face off with Separatists and Jedi alike, even Dark Lords of the Sith like Darth Maul. This pirate had seen and done it all. When it comes to his morals, you could already guess that he wasn't the most altruistic person, but that didn't mean that Hondo didn't have a sense of honor. In fact, it was probably because he did have a heart and a sense of honor that he made friends quite easily with Anakin and Obi-Wan. Well, at least he called them his friends. It, not sure if they exactly considered him a friend. Now, can I persuade you to join us for a drink? It's a tradition in the name of friendship. As I mentioned, his gang was split up and he was forced to live his life of piracy on his own. Although he could no longer talk to his old Jedi friends after the Clone Wars, he managed to make new friends in Ezra Bridger and the rest of the Phoenix Squadron. In this series, Hondo finds himself helping out his rebel friends more than what would be considered a neutral standing, although he still certainly sees it that way. Perhaps being a Jedi sympathizer has given Hondo a wider vision of the galaxy. Or it could just be that's where the profits are at the time. That's the thing about Hondo, he always has you on his toes and he can talk himself out of most situations. You stole the generators and my ship. <gasps> what an accusation! You wound me! Albeit his career as a pirate, Hondo is kind-hearted and caring. I think seeing Ezra reminds him of his younger days fighting both alongside and against the Jedi. I like Hondo a lot because he truly does remind me of Captain Jack Sparrow. And not for the fact that Captain Jack drank a lot, but because of his love of freedom. We talked about earlier that there was always a price to that freedom, and I think for Hondo, that price is his loneliness. For all the glamour that comes with freedom, you make sacrifices about the people around you. Sometimes isolation is what will give you the most profit, and less people to share it with, of course. At the end of the day, it's Hondo first and Hondo last, but that doesn't mean he can't have a big heart. And I may be a pirate, but I do not like taking children into battle. His story continues on in Star Wars Rebels and has even made an appearance in the LEGO Star Wars Freemaker series. I have my suspicions that his story will carry well into the new Force Awakens trilogy. The reason I say this is because he will be part of the new Millennium Falcon ride 
that will be in Galaxy's Edge that we've known for about some time now. Being that the park will take place during the fight against the First Order and the Resistance and we're seeing Hondo, means that he probably survives the Galactic Civil War and he's continued to pirate ever since. We will probably see an older Hondo when the ride comes out which makes me really happy and a little sad to see an older Hondo. If Hondo truly does survive the Galactic Civil War, that means there will be much more of our favorite space pirate yet to come. If you want to see Hondo in action, you can buy the entire Clone Wars TV series and the first two, soon to be three seasons of Star Wars Rebels, at my website, thestartrader.net. The store is powered by Amazon, so you know you'll be getting the best deal in the galaxy and have complete confidence in what you're buying. Are you all excited for Hondo Onaka uh, premiering in the new Galaxy's Edge Park? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're a Star Wars fan, you definitely want to make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and much more. Thank you so much for watching today, and may the Force be with you. Thanks for tuning in today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're a Star Wars fan, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe. Take the time to visit our Patreon account in the description below to help support the channel and all future products we have in store. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up with my daily vices. That's all for today, Star Wars fans. May the Force be with you.